All right, good morning church. How is everybody doing? Very good. We are so glad that you are here. I'm getting ready to introduce you to incredible people. My name is Daniel Kaznave. I'm the pastor here at the Bridge Church. And um, we are, have, over the last few weeks, we've been talking about serving. And what does that mean? And what does that look like inside of the local church? And uh, I introduced you to uh, Thomas and Ashley last week. And they did a great job just sharing with us their serving journey. And so I have two more people that I'm dying for you to meet and to talk to if you don't know them already. Uh, but they uh, have already blessed my life and my family and our church. And so uh, would you take a, just a quick moment and introduce yourselves? Sure. Uh, first of all, welcome everybody and uh, welcome students too. It's great to see all the new faces. So we're glad to have you here. Um, my name is Mark Egan and this is my wife Jean. And we've been coming to the church, Bridge Church for just about two years now. Well, under two years, we moved here, and we uh, had a list of churches. We did a little research. Um, the bridge was the closest to where we lived, so we came here. Absolutely fell in love with it, fell in love with the people. They were so welcoming. Everyone was wonderful. The sermon was fantastic. Crumbled up our list, and here we are every week. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, I love that you guys uh, got connected very quickly as well, and uh, to see God work through you. And so what team do you guys serve on? And uh, just tell us a, a little bit about that, because I know you serve on a couple different teams. Uh, we first got started when we arrived here. Um, it, we didn't realize that this was a set-up church each week. So <laughs> we arrived here, and everybody was setting up chairs and doing some things. Um, so that's the, that's the uh, serve team we got started on. Um, I know we were amazed at what went into this all behind the scenes and all the chairs and the stages and all this stuff becomes a church um, for the day. Uh, so that's where we thought we would start first because it was something we could do is just provide a little um, manual labor. Um, but it became much, much more and we branched out to a few other things as well. And then almost a year ago, we got involved with a small group. So we started up a small group, and we do that with um, another family that helps us lead. And that 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 was really stepping out of our comfort zone. Mm -hmm. So that was um, that was amazing. The people in our group are amazing. Uh, we've also, I think, it's been a little under a year. Also, I started uh, doing the bridge breakfast, and that's with two other wonderful families, and they make it so easy and. We um, get here early. We have breakfast ready for the crew that sets up this wonderful setting every week. And um, I just love when little Nicholas comes in because he's <laughs> just ready to eat. And he's so excited about food. Um, we've also done other events like the uh, Easter egg hunt, mm -hmm. the fall festival. Um, last year we were able to do VBS. This year we were away. But that... That's just absolutely incredible to help with, too, especially when you have Miss Deb that leads that way. That's right. It, it's phenomenal. And um, we did the backpacks a couple of weeks ago. That was really great. Mm -hmm. That was uh, first for our church to do, yes. I believe. So, yeah, it's been wonderful. Yeah, I love to hear that. And the breakfast is amazing because we start at 7 a.m. and start setting things up, and they bring in breakfast. And uh, I was thinking this morning uh, because you guys were here, and I was I counted. I had 10 hugs before 7:30 a.m. It was amazing. I love our setup team and everybody that comes in. They're like, "Hey, good morning!" And so uh, you guys have blessed us many areas have you as you have described. But tell us, um, why do you love serving? And so um, it could be a particular team or multiple teams. Um, one of the reasons I love serving is it, it kind of gives me a purpose and, and a direction just in my faith-based, you know, journey. Um, I often didn't know what, how I could help or what I could do or what I could understand, and this has led me to just be there mm -hmm. and, and follow the, the footsteps that God led for me to follow. Mm -hmm. So it becomes easy when you're around good people and you hear a good message and you're around people who believe in God as well. And it just becomes easier and becomes, it makes my journey a lot easier, mm. a lot easier to understand, um, to have people, like-minded people around me. That's good. And I agree all of the above. <laughs> um, also, just meeting everyone. It's a great um, chance to just start meeting people. And everyone here is just so kind. It's mm. been absolutely wonderful. 
That's great. So as you think about serving and told us why you love serving, and of course you add such an incredible impact for the big church and just our church here locally, um, but how has serving impacted you as an individual? Um, For me, um, I think I spent most of my life just kind of um, showing up to church, maybe just getting ready or my parents sending me there, and I really didn't get as much meaning as I, out of it as I became an adult. Um, but here it's been a little bit, uh, a lot easier for me to mm-hmm. become involved in a more intimate setting and to know what happens behind the scenes and that it is much more than just setting up a church. The church is not where we come each week to it. It's what's within us and what um, God's Spirit leads us to do each day. Um, our, our small group just finished a book um, on the Holy Spirit, and to be honest, I, beforehand, I didn't really understand it quite as well, but it, it, it helped me understand that sometimes you're placed in different spots, and the Holy Spirit leads you to do different things, and mm. if you're a college student and wondering how you got up and got here this morning, you know, the Holy Spirit led you here, and it might lead you somewhere else, and you don't really know. Just follow the path and belief. And I think that's the thing. When the Holy Spirit's in you, it's like so easy to do these things. And it's, it's, it's a feeling that you really can't describe. It, it's, it's a fantastic feeling. It just fills you with love. It's God's love and God's love working um, through you. So that's been a blessing. And all the opportunities, I want to say thank you to you because you have given this church and us personally so many opportunities to serve. And we're really grateful for that. God is good. And so as we um, just kind of wrap up, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for serving each and every week. So faithful and here with great attitude and smile. And uh, God's really using the Holy Spirit's really using you to bless a lot of people. Can you guys give it up for Mark and Gene?